We're back again. Uh, it's June, Friday, June 1st here in Tokyo, Japan with another uh, weekly roundup with Roger Veer and Corbin Fraser. So the first one that we've got here is BCH payment processor Bitec allows Colombian merchants to convert to pesos. So Javier Barrero and Andre Rivera, sorry if I mispronounce your name, uh, believe the evolution of cryptocurrency will be bolstered, bolstered by the BCH network. So they recently developed a payment processor called Bitec.co. Company provides merchants the ability to accept BCH and convert all or percentage of the funds back into Colum Colombian pesos. So we're seeing more stores, more merchants, more online processors basically adopting BCH and providing this fiat to BCH and BCH to fiat kind of conversion. It's yeah. pretty exciting stuff. And like I, I didn't post it or talk about it anywhere publicly yet, but we just had a meeting earlier this week. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is coming to uh, tens of thousands of convenience stores in Japan and you'll be able to buy anything in the entire convenience store with Bitcoin Cash, which means including like paying your like electric bill and like yeah. paying like all Huge. doing all your bill pay stuff too. Like yeah. convenience stores like are also kind of like banks in Japan too, where you can yeah. do all sorts of like banking services at convenience stores. So yeah. imagine being able to buy everything in the yeah. convenience store. I pay my rent in Bitcoin there. Cash yeah. here in Japan. Yeah, I'd that's love to a pay big my deal. Rent there. <laughs> Absolutely, man. That's uh, it, it's exciting stuff. I mean, everything from coffee, your morning coffee, on-chain coffee. It's uh. I know we kind of get a little bit uh, hassled over it, but it's kind of what we got into this for. It's be, to be able to use Bitcoin Cash for everything. Yeah, the original Bitcoin software from day one actually had like a little merchant uh, store built right into it. And one of the listed items there was coffee as an example yeah. from the very first version of Bitcoin. Absolutely. So next up, uh, Menufi. Uh, Menufi started accepting Bitcoin Cash, I believe, uh, at the start of May, but it kind of flew under the radar. Uh, they didn't seem to get as much love on, on Twitter or maybe just kind of there was a busy month around there. So. Yeah, if you check it out, menufi.com. Uh, you can order food online in a ton of major cities across the U.S. Uh, we actually did a test transaction here in the office just to confirm that they were actually accepting about Bitcoin ago. Cash. About yeah. an hour ago, yeah, we sent uh, sent pizza to the guy behind Bitbox Earth. He's uh, out on the West Coast. Yeah, shout out to Bitbox.Earth. So if you're a developer and looking for tools to make it easy to develop on top of Bitcoin Cash, visit Bitbox.Earth. He has all sorts of tools there that make it super easy for you to start building your, your amazing projects on top of Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, absolutely. So we sent him a pizza and uh, confirmed that the pizza did arrive. He uh, included a photo, so hopefully we'll, we can get that put up. Bitcoin um, Cash works. Yeah, it works. Uh, Jason, uh, the coworker that actually dealt with a lot of the uh, sending, he had a little funny quip that I thought I'd uh, write down. Uh, the only second layer that we approve of is the extra cheese on that bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks Jason for that. And uh, thanks uh, Mr. Bitbox, uh, uh, Carlos, uh, for accepting some pizza, I hope, uh, hope it was tasty. Uh, next up, bitcoinrewards.com. Earn Bitcoin Cash back by purchasing items through their store. So they've done this cool thing where they basically partnered with a ton of different companies from Rakuten, Udemy, uh, Udemy being, I think they do the online training and online courses okay. and stuff like that. Hotels.com, Fiverr, and a bunch of other you know, stores and stuff like that. So you purchase anything through the website and they'll give you cash back in Bitcoin Cash. So you earn a little bit of, uh, it's kind of a great way to earn some small amounts of little micro payments. H have you or any of your friends actually used that website Yeah, yet, I, I hopped on uh, earlier today and I actually spoke to the, uh, the guy behind it, super interesting guy. Um, they do like, uh, so you can actually withdraw the uh, amount. So it, let's just say you start purchasing a bunch of stuff on Fiverr or a bunch of hotels, let's say when you're traveling. Get a certain percentage of, uh, of cash back and that's of course Bitcoin cash back. And uh, you can withdraw from their service as minimum, like a minimum payment of only a dollar. So, they, you know, a lot of these places, the cashback places, they have a minimum, you know, withdrawal of like fifty dollars. You got to really spend before you can withdraw. These guys have a super small, you know, low fee for for being able to withdraw, of course, because Bitcoin Cash has low fees. Yep. And uh, actually, they also created this awesome video. Um, it was kind of going around Twitter. Uh, if you check out their, uh, I think it's their FAQ page, they've got this What is Bitcoin Cash video. It's an animated video. It's great, I've seen of, it. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, super talented uh, group there. And yeah, go check it out, bitcoinrewards.com. Um, GMO, uh, for those yeah. that aren't living in Japan, you've probably never heard of GMO, but GMO is a financial giant. Uh, it's yeah. a titan of industry <laughs> here Huge. in Japan. And uh, they've announced that uh, they're making a Bitcoin exchange, which we knew for a while, or a cryptocurrency exchange. but. Uh, they're so smart, they're making Bitcoin Cash the base pair that all the other cryptocurrencies are traded against. Yeah. So like, that's a pretty darn big deal. It's exciting stuff. Yeah, especially yeah. I, uh, GMO is a household name here in Japan, so don't underestimate the amount uh, of attention that that's going to get for, mm. for Bitcoin Cash. Well, so. you had mentioned too, even at the, uh, the recent meetup, you, you had a great speech in Japanese calling out to more Japanese exchanges to 
get on board. You yeah. know, we need we need we need some more BCH pairs. We need to see more exchanges. You know, starting to uh, support the true Satoshi's vision of Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin low cash keys. works as cash. Yeah, right? it's amazing. Stuff. Everything else is just a science project if it doesn't work as cash. Yeah, and and you can really tell that GMO is really kind of going uh, going far into the BCH kind of world. Like um, uh, even just general cryptocurrency. Mr. Kum Kumagai. Uh, who's the uh, founder of GMO? He was hospitalized actually for two months, and w during that free time, he was just getting completely caught up on cryptocurrency, and now he's just completely obsessed. So, how did you hear that part of the story? I did. Uh, know this that. is through Gerald. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of an interesting. Uh, I guess it was, they had a bit of a write-up as well. On, I think on news.bitcoin.com uh, during some of these announcements and stuff too, kind right. of explaining uh, explaining the founder's uh, you know recent obsession, and I think you you can attest to that once you learn about cryptocurrency, learn what it can do to the world. It's obsessive. You, you can you can quickly lose yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that's two like giant household names in Japan, GMO and SBI, that are both really pushing Bitcoin Cash hard in Japan and pushing yeah. it much more than the the BTC version of uh, I guess it's not really even Bitcoin anymore <laughs> if it's not usable as cash. Yeah. So. Uh, next up is all the way in London. There's a, a IP company. I'm not even going to name their name because it's just such a goofy, goofy. Because you don't want to get sued by them. <laughs> yeah, for probably. Name. <laughs> so an IP company. They they've filed claims uh, and they've basically trademarked the word Bitcoin and have sent some de cease and desist letters to a t-shirt seller on Etsy. So what we're seeing is just some people trying to control the brand of Bitcoin, even though it's an open source project. What are your thoughts? Uh, so to whatever company that is that's trying to trademark Bitcoin in London. Uh, Get out of here. Bitcoin's for everybody. Yeah. So go go find some productive work to do. Don't stop trolling. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it, it seems kind of goofy that we're, we're seeing people even get, get away with this. Like, I just, it, it strikes me as just stupid that no trademark office did any research to say you can't trademark this thing that's open source. Like, Imagine that. Government agents not doing their jobs. Yeah, yeah. I who wish more of them would do their jobs, to be honest, though. <laughs> yeah. So uh, next up, the Bitcoin.com pool is setting aside part of the rewards for protocol developers. We spoke a little bit about this uh, last week. Yeah. Um, just kind of curious when, when this is about to begin. Any word from other pools? When, when they're going to begin? And uh, what's the game plan there? Um, I, I was hoping that it was going to be uh, last week mm -hmm. and then didn't even have a chance to really talk too much about it last week. And then yeah. uh, yesterday I mentioned it again. Let's do it. So yeah. hopefully next week will be the week. And uh, maybe we'll have one of our pool developers on the show with us next week as That'd well. Be awesome. so, uh, yeah. so if you have questions for our pool developer, put them in the comments on this video and we'll uh, make sure to have him answer it yeah. next week. So there he is. Absolutely. He's locked in to participate <laughs> next week. <laughs> Yeah, so next up, uh, it was something you actually said in a recent interview. We can get lots of users. So I will donate a quarter of a million dollars in Bitcoin Cash, right? And I'll make sure they get the full amount. And if they want to convert it instantly to some cryptocurrency, that's just fine. I'll donate it to whatever charity Reddit wants, right? So it can be starving kids in Africa. It can be, uh, you know, Khan Academy. It can be whatever charity they want, not even one that I want. For those that don't know, uh, there's a website called Reddit, which I think is like the third most popular it's website the in the now. entire world. Yeah, yeah just past Facebook in yeah. terms of popularity. <laughs> More discussion of Bitcoin happens on our Bitcoin on Reddit than probably every single other Bitcoin related website mm -hmm. combined. So it's an incredibly important discussion platform for this that's been completely censored for several years. And the problem is that all these new people that come to Bitcoin, they wind up on this completely censored platform and they're only able to hear one side of the story no actual discussion of Bitcoin is allowed to take place because if you disagree with, uh, with the, the party line there, your post will literally be deleted and your account will be banned from participating. Yep. So I offered, and, I, and the offer still stands, I'll pay $250,000, a quarter of a million US dollars to the charity of Reddit's choice. All they have to do is appoint some moderators there that actually allow people to discuss Bitcoin. And I wouldn't have a problem with people like controlling what's talked about on their own private forum, but Reddit's portrayed to the world as this platform for people to discuss things, and our Bitcoin is portrayed to the world as this place for people to discuss Bitcoin, when in reality it's a completely censored platform. So uh, I'm yeah. not asking Reddit to appoint me or anybody I even know uh, as moderator there. I'm just simply asking them to appoint somebody that actually allows people to discuss Bitcoin, and I'll donate a quarter of a million dollars to whatever charity uh, Reddit wants. So uh, it's a very simple offer, and I think it's one that would make the world a better place on a number of different levels. So uh, Reddit, uh, if you're listening to this, Tell me where to send the money and I'll send it. All you have to do is allow people to actually talk about Bitcoin on our Bitcoin. It's not a, it's not a tall order or a huge ask. Just yeah. to let people talk about the name of the thing that the subreddit is actually about. Yeah. I was actually banned from our Bitcoin. Yeah. 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 If you've been banned from our Bitcoin, post in the comments. I'm sure there's dozens, if not hundreds of you. Um, unfortunately, if you have an opposing view or disagree with the uh, 
status quo of, of the our Bitcoin conversation, which includes talking about Bitcoin Cash, which includes talking about on-chain scalability, even yeah. just uh, opposing views of moderators. Even posting a link to the Bitcoin white paper without any comment whatsoever, yeah. your post will be deleted. So I've had my own post there deleted. I gave up. Yeah. Uh, Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase, yeah. has had his post deleted. Like it's uh, it's absolutely crazy that like people aren't allowed to talk about Bitcoin and our Bitcoin. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Reddit, do something about this. You're really damaging your own reputation uh, yeah. by not taking action about the crazy amount of censorship that's going on on our Bitcoin. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So we we this week was pretty busy in the uh, in the Tokyo Bitcoin scene. So Bitcoin Cash had a, a weekly meetup uh, this Wednesday. It was the a first huge weekly meetup. It was yeah. the first weekly meetup. Yeah, originally it was a m once a month kind of event, yep. but it's been getting so popular that we had to go to weekly. And I think you can guess how I want to pay. <laughs> and uh, we had over 110 people in attendance. Yeah. There was over 75 BCH transactions for beer, vodka, tequila, tequila yeah. whiskey, and pizza. Yep. They were and I, actually, that's only the transactions that took place directly to the to the bar yeah. for the drinks and stuff. But there were people there selling Bitcoin T-shirts yeah. and magazines and stickers and all sorts of other stuff. And yeah. so there were a bunch of Bitcoin cash transactions that happened that day. And yeah. I, I doubt that there were anybody that wanted to use Bitcoin Core at this no, point. No, so. it was uh, it was pretty pretty funny. And I think it was a stark contrast from the the day right after, actually. Uh, yeah, you, so the very next day was the Bitcoin Core, or BTC meetup here in mm -hmm. Tokyo. The one that I started back in 2011 <laughs> and is one of the longest running Bitcoin meetups in the entire world, used to have you know a huge turnout every single week, yeah. 40, 50, 60, 70 people sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go yesterday, but you, you still I went. What, I popped what was in. it like? It was dead. It was a ghost town. It, it was actually really sad to see, but I mean, it's, it's where we're at. I mean, we've seen it progressively get smaller and smaller over the past two months here, and the opposite has been in the case for the Bitcoin Cash meetup, where it's just progressively getting bigger and bigger. We're having to find new venues and bigger venues in order to And, to hold and these venues are accepting Bitcoin yeah. Cash. They're not even accepting Bitcoin yeah. uh, BTC at this yeah. point. So, and let, let's talk about that a little bit. So, like Bitcoin BTC launched a new full node implementation called Bitcoin Core, similar to how yeah. Purse.io launched a full node implementation of Bitcoin Cash called Bcash. Yeah. What what terminology should we use for? And it's pretty clear that Bitcoin Cash has more Bitcoinness to it than the BTC version. I even hate to call the BTC yeah. version Bitcoin anymore because if it's not digital electronic cash, as described in the very title of the white paper, it kind of seems dirty or wrong or mistaken or to yeah. call it Bitcoin. What should we call it from here I mean, on out? It could out? be Segwit coin. We could call it Bitcoin Legacy. We could call it Bitcoin XP. I, I kind of feel like it shouldn't <laughs> even be called Bitcoin if it's it not peer-to-peer no. -peer electronic cash. It's yeah. some sort of science project settlement layer that they're hoping the Lightning Network will work on in the future. And I wish I wish them good luck with their yeah. project, but it, it's not even Bitcoin. It's just, uh, they're hoping for, Should for we just a Lightning call it BTC? Coin. Just BTC, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm- Lightning ICO? Lightning ICO, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's an IOU at this point. That's what they're hoping to, to solve scalability is a off-chain IOU. And uh, they still haven't solved the routing problem. And we'll get to that a little bit later. I've got, a, got, some, got some notes okay. on that as well. But um, yeah, I, I leave a comment below if you've got other ideas on yeah. what what to refer Bitcoin Core as. If if they're gonna uh, if they're gonna I think add maybe just call it BTC from yeah. now on and, and drop because the very title of the white paper is it's an elect a peer to peer electronic cash system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The people behind BTC at this point are opposed to using it as cash. Yeah. If it's not usable as cash, it's not Bitcoin. So maybe we'll just start yeah. calling it BTC. Yep. And we'll call Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin Cash. Sounds or good call to me. it Bitcoin BCH. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we got a little bit of trouble uh, a few weeks ago, actually. Uh, when we when we I had this trouble, I think yeah. it was good publicity. It was good publicity. It was actually great. Like you said, it was great user testing. Uh, go check out the previous video if you get a chance. We'll we'll add a link to it. Uh, there was a little bit of drama with uh, a, one of the mentions we had on there's Bitcoin BCH. Drama for everything they can cause any drama about, even yeah. when there's no actual real drama <laughs> to be caused. So that that seems to be another yeah. card in the in the in the playbook of the. BTC supporters. Yeah, it's the cry bully tactics of the Bitcoin yeah. core supporters. Cry to the SEC to arrest yeah. people, go yeah. to the police to stop people from saying things on the internet that you don't yeah. like. Like, uh, yeah, threaten man. people when they say something you don't agree with. It's yeah. you know, it's it's censor f discussion platforms. So, yeah. so uh, opposing ideas can't even be heard. Like, if your yeah. ideas are so weak that you can't even allow <laughs> them to be discussed, like, you've lost the argument already. Mm -hmm. So the BTC people have clearly lost yeah. the argument 
sh as shown by the fact that they have to resort to censorship. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. So on a more lighter note, Brisbane International Airport now accepts BCH. So a bunch of Americans throughout the airport have started accepting uh, BCH. That whole Queensland uh, east coast of They're uh, rocking it down Australia, there. they're absolutely killing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and actually the, the town of 1770 uh, just fully adopted cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin Cash. So they, wow. they're calling themselves the cryptocurrency, uh, the first cryptocurrency town in, in Australia. Uh, I've actually spent some time in 1770. I used really? to, yeah, I used to surf and you know partook in a couple beers over there. I thought you were on. from Canada. This well, whole I, yeah, time, so. I, I did a little bit of backpacking once upon a time. Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, it was a super super fun town. Great locals. Got an awesome little the Ang Agnes Waters Tavern up there. You can do, you know bet on some horses. It's uh, good fun. I'm, I'm hoping maybe they got horse betting on with BCH up there. Okay, might have to head back and check it out. So Let's talk about uh, yeah. Bellator, Bellator champion Rory <laughs> McDonald. Like that guy's no joke when yeah. it comes to fighting. Absolutely, and he's uh, no joke when it comes to like calling the truth to the truth. He was recently on a uh, the MMA Hour podcast yep. uh, show and said Bitcoin Cash is basically Bitcoin. Yeah. So. And you know what? He's been all over Twitter. People are retweeting him. His 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 tweets went viral. It uh, it was pretty pretty funny to see the whole Bitcoin community kind of get behind him. They're doing things like tipping him just for even just speaking out about the truth and. Yeah. Uh, you know, y you got to have to a his hundreds of thousands yeah. of followers on Twitter, and, yeah. and who knows how many more around the world. Well, he's a strong yeah. he's a strong guy, so I imagine he can take a little bit of flack from the uh, <laughs> the core trolls. So yeah, it's uh, it's good to see him uh, supporting the the real Bitcoin, and yep. uh, yeah, yeah, keep up the great work, Roy. Uh, next up is the uh, Eat BCH. Uh, actually, there's so let's a, talk about Eat BCH because yeah. some people won't know what that was. So mm -hmm. it was a plan to help people in Venezuela, like uh, that mm. doesn't have a usable currency help those people like be able to eat yeah. because man it's a mess down there caused by s more stupid government policies yeah. and uh, now they've duplicated the same thing in the South Sudan. Yeah so we're seeing the same thing uh, basically uh, if you check out at, B at eatbch underscore ss that's uh, at eatbch underscore ss for South Sudan um, check them out they've got their uh, Bitcoin cash address set up you can tip them on Tipperbot same idea basically any of the tips that you, that you send towards this account they'll go and uh, buy some food feed some children, feed some elderly, feed some starving people that are dealing with rapid inflation. Help make the world a better place. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's a noble cause, so go check out EatBCH on Twitter and EatBCH underscore SS, both two cool, very uh, you yeah. know, inspiring uh, organizations that are helping, helping the world. Uh, the other thing I kind of wanted to introduce was BCHplease.io. Uh, that was the simple and intuitive POS app for those wanting to start accepting BCH in stores. Now it doesn't actually have fiat uh, conversion quite yet, so well, it Who does wants make that it, dirty yeah, fiat exactly. anyhow? It's garbage, so. it's garbage. So I do think, but for uh, those of you that do, you just you just send yeah. your Bitcoin Cash to an exchange and convert yeah. it if you want to. Exactly, and and the, uh, I I signed up real quick just to test it out. The UI is super slick. It's very simple. Uh, they've got a you know it's set up so that you can actually have a display for uh, you know an iPad or anything else. So you can actually have the the, the customer can have their own display while you have your own display. Great. You can uh, track track purchases. It's zero conf enabled. It's yeah. It's kind of what what we want to see. So bchplease.io, uh, bchpls.io of course. Um, yeah, go check that one out. We'll add a link in the description as well. Yep. So next one, I wanted to kind of expand a little bit more on the lightning aspect. Uh, decentralized thought. Uh, it's a YouTube, on YouTube. channel. He's yeah. has fantastic, fantastic. videos. For, I recommend everybody watches his yeah. videos. They get lots of views. Uh, wonderfully illustrated. Mm -hmm. Wonderfully narrated. Uh, great videos explaining yeah. what's going on in the world of Bitcoin. Yeah, he just had another uh, another part in his three part series on the Lightning Network. Basically, he just breaks it down and 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 really dumbs it down and, and he's gone through the white the, their version of the white paper I think it's 57 pages long I thought it was 60 something yeah, but it's, it's a ridiculous amount and you know basically he's gone through it tooth with a fine fine tooth comb and nail and and basically just trying to figure out what the hell this lightning network is and he breaks it down for normal people to digest and it's uh, you know he's got these great little animations that really sum up why the lightning network can't scale um, it's a three-part series. Go check them all out. He's also got some great videos on colored coins as well as uh, zero lots conf. of great videos. Yeah, go lots subscribe of great to videos. him. Yeah, he's uh, he's got some cool videos up his sleeve. I think so. There'll be more coming from him for sure. So that's decentralized thought on YouTube. We'll put a link to that in the description yeah. here too. So so next up, uh, Bitcoin ATMs showing up again. We're seeing these kind of pop up all yep. around the world. Uh, we did see a bunch of them kind of take off when fees on uh, BTC. Rose to uh, fifty dollars you know, on average per transaction yes. in multiple hour or yeah. even day long wait. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's pretty hard to maintain an ATM when when nobody's willing to buy, sell, trade, or do anything with it. It's just this commodity that disintegrates every time you move it. It's 
Yeah. Not so useful. So uh, any any updates on the Bitcoin ATMs that uh, you've kind of seen around? Any any changes in Tokyo? Any changes in St. Kitts? Yeah, so we, we have some on the ground in St. Kitts. We'll get uh, up and running here shortly as well. We still, yeah. I think, maybe have another 25 ATM machines that awesome. uh, are available for sale. If, if you're interested in buying a Bitcoin Cash ATM machine at the same price, but we'll ship instantly for um, BitcoinATMMachine.com is where we bought them from in order to get them to integrate Bitcoin Cash and all of them. Uh, go ahead and email me, roger at Bitcoin.com and I'll put you in touch uh, if you want to yeah. buy some of those Bitcoin Cash ATM machines. We still have quite a few of them uh, that we can sell uh, and ship instantly. Whereas if you order yeah. from the actual manufacturer, uh, I think there's a several week or month late lead time. So yeah. we have them ready to ship. Uh, same day we receive your payment, we'll, we'll ship it for you. Yeah, if you're in a city that Brand is- Brand new, we haven't used them yet. Yeah, they're great, they're awesome. And if, if, if you're in a city that is crypto friendly, or even if you're not, just put them up, promote it, get it in the news. If you're Share a Free State friends. Project member in New Hampshire and need another ATM nearby, yeah. send me an email. We'll, we'll, we'll set it up. And Absolutely. If until, I'll tell you what, if you're a Free State Project member, I'll, I'll even like work out some sort of financing deal where you can like have the ATM now and pay me later for it. So Awesome. That's great to hear. Uh, okay, next up, we've got HandCash. Now, HandCash is the NFC-enabled wallet, which is recently funded by Enchain. Uh, and it's actually going mainnet today, so I think. Oh wow! I didn't the, hear that. Yeah, by the time we're probably, uh, I think by the time it's by like the late time tonight, this is on yeah, YouTube, it'll be there and ready for you guys. Be up, okay. So go check it out. Uh, it's got tap to pay, so you've got that NFC capability of just being able to send Bitcoin Cash with the tap of your phone. Uh, no need to scan anything. Wow. They've also got uh, they integrated this cash tag technology. So the idea is that you don't actually need to know addresses. You can basically lock in user accounts to this unique little ID and you know save save people as contacts as well. And it's a uh, kind of a kind of a different way of of doing it but the NFC technology I think you know we we saw it talked about on Bitcoin core several years ago if you uh it, it, and it really never really took off at, at the time a lot of phones didn't support NFC but we're seeing now you know iPhones have NFC pretty much all the Samsungs I mean any 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 starting smartphone. to happen yeah yeah so it's it's really I think that's going to be a great great use case and I think we'll see probably more wallets start to uh, adopt NFC in, into their into their uh, their stack um, Next one, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so Eric Lombroso, I think last week I gave him a shout out for doing something that I really liked when he was there at uh, in front of the courthouse protesting the prosecution of some guy for selling bitcoins on localbitcoins.com. Mm -hmm. So uh, kudos for that one. But man, Eric, you got it wrong on, on this one today <laughs> on Twitter. So and uh, another thing I guess he had wrong previously, I, I guess he was threatening to sue people over Segwit2x. Yeah, yeah, this was uh, from quite a while back, but he was he was threatening some technical and legal ramifications for those who supported Segwit2x. And of course, we know Segwit2x failed. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we've got Bitcoin Cash. We're uh, carrying the torch. So his recent tweet, uh, I believe it was eight hours ago here, uh, proof of work only secures your transactions if miners are, as a whole, disinterested in your transactions other than the miner fee. Having a neutral third party authorize a ledger is probably more secure than concentrated mining operations run by interested parties. And then... So, like, let, let's, let's break that down. Yeah. He's saying that having, like, a, a concentrated group of a, a couple of people to secure the ledger is better than having a bunch of miners do it with actual proof of work. So he's saying let's have a couple of people just plain decide is yeah. better than actually proving you, that you did some work to so decide? He clarified this. One, one person Whoa. replied, a third party doesn't sound very trustless to me. And then he replied, I'd rather trust a public official subject to checks and balances than trust a secretive concentrated binding operation. So like, let's, let's talk about that too. So yeah. you'd rather trust a public official subject to checks and balances. Like, I don't know what world he's living in, but I don't see too many public officials subject to very many checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Like they teach you that in school growing up, but uh, when was the last time you saw any like public official get checked or balanced on something he's doing? Very, 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 yeah. very rarely. And when it is, it's just one and it's kind of like a token symbol. Yeah. When, like like Anthony Weiner when he you know tweeted a picture of his Weiner like yeah. <laughs> he got held you know to there were some checks and balances on that but yeah. he's one of you know thousands and so yeah. like uh, what naive world is Eric living in and thinks that the politicians are you know held accountable with checks and balances yeah. and that that's a better system of securing the Bitcoin network than mm -hmm. a, a proof of work system even mm -hmm. if you have like a you know a, a few miners with a bunch mm -hmm. of the, the proof of work that's yeah. still like they have market incentives whereas the politicians don't have any market incentives. Well, I think what's what's most shocking about that is, for those who don't know, Eric Lombroso is actually a Bitcoin core developer. So yep. these are the people that are maintaining the BTC uh, Bitcoin and, yeah. He, he's also one of the people that showed up to the, the Bitcoin meetup we had in Silicon Valley a couple years ago and was literally arguing with people at a Bitcoin meetup at a restaurant that accepts Bitcoin for payment, telling people not to pay with Bitcoin and telling people they should be using a credit card instead mm. and spent his entire evening arguing with people 
telling them to use credit cards instead of Bitcoin to pay for yeah. their meal at, at the restaurant that accepts Bitcoin. Like, why are you interested in Bitcoin if you want people to use credit cards instead? So, mm -hmm. not a, you're not a Bitcoiner in my book if you're telling people to use credit cards instead of Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, next up, so Jameson Lopp recently was tweeting about his uh, node. You know, his special node. His this special node, node is my node. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, a little weird. Node fetish. It was node fetishi fetishizing. And y you know, the, the whole idea is BTC, they really, they worship the node, the self, the self node. The but no, no node that's not mining has ever included your transaction in a block, ever. Yep. It's only miners that include your transactions in a block. And if it wasn't for the miners, your transactions would never make it into a block. So mm -hmm. you need to have the miner. So only mining, read the definition of a full node in the white paper. It's only nodes that are mining are full nodes. And these other things they're calling full nodes aren't yeah. full nodes, they're just fancy wallets. So if you're not mining, you're not a node. So on that note, one of the uh, active Twitter users supporting Bitcoin Cash, Beijing Bitcoins, uh, go follow him. He's, he's got some great tweets. He's proposing an annual full node appreciation day. All the miners switch their uh, miners off, uh, switch off turn their, their hash power off. Turn their hash power off. Just let the nodes <laughs> handle things for the day to show yeah. their appreciation for their for the the nodes yeah. that aren't actually nodes. Switch off their hash rate and honor the full nodes that tirelessly protect the network from the miners. July first, two thousand eighteen. Who's with me? <laughs> so and of course, everybody knows that anybody that understands yeah. bitcoins knows that that's that's absolute nonsense. You can't do that without miners. Your transactions yeah. are never included in a block. And uh, one of the one of the biggest mining equipment manufacturers, Jihan mm -hmm. Wu, CEO of Bitmain, a fantastic business success story. The man who translated the original Bitcoin white paper into Chinese and basically spread Bitcoin to China. Uh, of course, another huge uh, Bitcoin Cash supporter. Uh, somebody yeah. sent me a photo of him wearing his Bitcoin Cash shirt Great. Uh, earlier awesome. today. Maybe we'll be able to display that here in the video. Yeah, I, I liked what he said at the CoinGeek conference uh, recently when he was when, when asked, you know, what? Uh, why are you still mining BTC? Said purely for the uh, the short term profit. Oh, yes. Why are the other miners still supporting yeah. BTC at all? Is it just a short term <laughs> profit play? He said, "Yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. I, I think we're seeing you know the tide shift. A lot of people are starting to come around to Bitcoin Cash. You know, a lot of people, you know, may have taken offense to Bitcoin Cash not embracing Bcash, and I think now we're we're just seeing Bcash is purely a uh, it's a full it's note implementation of Bitcoin Cash, and you know. Uh, just like Bitcoin Core is now yeah. a full node implementation of BTC. We're seeing a lot of people just kind of come around on Twitter. You know, things, simple things like t like tipping people on Twitter. It's a simple way to kind of really show that, that, that this stuff was meant to be used. You know, it was yeah. meant to be traded. It's meant to be tipped. It's meant to be donated. It's meant to onboard new friends. You can send a dollar to a new user at a meetup. You can head over to free.bitcoin.com, receive a tiny bit of Bitcoin yeah. cash. And that's kind of what Bitcoin the whole idea was behind it, and Bitcoin Core, you can no longer do that. It's completely, it's completely dead to be using anything less than fifty cents to a dollar. You're just burning money at that point. And I mean, we're seeing merchants no longer accept it. We're seeing exchanges really question whether Bitcoin.com doesn't really yeah. accept it for much of anything anymore yeah. because it's not reliable. Like, yeah. yeah, the fees are low again, but so what? The fees were fifty dollars on average per transaction in December. Mm -hmm. We need a currency that works reliably month after month, year after year, yeah. and and BTC was that from 2009 until like 2017 mm -hmm. or 16. Yeah. And it's not anymore, whereas BCH is and Bitcoin Cash is gonna continue to be a reliable payment network for the entire world that people know is gonna be reliable into the future. And that's why so many big giant businesses like GMO, mm -hmm. SBI, yeah. more and more and more are building their new infrastructure on top of Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. Uh, it's been a very, very busy week and I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of other great things uh, coming on over the next week. I know there's, uh, you know, we'll see what happens here with this hand cash it's, uh, hitting the mainnet. Yep. Of course, we've also some got free some free Bitcoin Cash giveaway. So scan this with your Bitcoin.com uh, wallet, and you'll, you'll get some free Bitcoin Cash right there. If you're too late, of course, uh, visit free.bitcoin.com, and you get about 10 cents worth of Bitcoin Cash that you can then try out on what Memo, yeah. Memo.cash, Blockpress.com, yeah. and like a bunch of other places. Because with Bitcoin Cash, even 10 cent payments are no problem at all. But yep. Bitcoin Core, you can't and. I think that kind of brings us to the time to wrap up. And mm -hmm. I have my list of things to cover at the end of every show here. So uh, once again, our Bitcoin is completely censored. If you think you're going to our Bitcoin to discuss Bitcoin, no, you're you're there to get only one side of the story and your post will literally be deleted if you don't tow the party line. Yeah. Uh, so if you like our videos each week, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. That's how the word gets out. Uh, so do all those things. Free.bitcoin.com again uh, for some free Bitcoin cash. And again, uh, it's up to all of us to spread the word and start using it in our daily lives. And uh, Absolutely. 
Yeah, so share the video with your friends and share a... Subscribe a, and hit that bell icon, that yeah, silly bell icon. Yeah, the notification bell icon. Yeah, hit it. We'll, we'll send you a little notification as soon as we uh, get a new video out, and it's really helpful for us as a, as a channel as we try to grow. Yep, and uh, I guess one other thing we might as well promote too. So we have a cashgames.bitcoin.com. You can play games online with your Bitcoin cash. If you win, you can cash out instantly. Congratulations, you're a winner. If you lose, that means we won, but then we're gonna spend all of that money to continue promoting Bitcoin Cash. So it's a win-win situation if you're a fan of Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, it's great. So. Awesome. Anything else? That's it. That's it. Thanks guys, see you awesome. next week. See you next week.